What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie, back with another video for y'all. And in this video right here is if you have a Venus in Leo. And now pause for the cause. If you don't know what your Venus sign is, if you don't know anything about astrology, if you're just starting off this journey of self-love, self-knowledge, self-awareness, if you still don't understand how important, drastically, urgently, vitally important it is to know yourself through astrology and numerology, when it comes to astrology, I have a couple of videos. I put the link in the description. You're going to have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about in this video. So if you looked at your natal chart or your birth chart and you realize you're Venus and Leo, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? Now to start, I'm going to give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Venus and Leo people look like and act like in reality. So to start, we got Madonna. We got the king himself, Michael Jackson, rest in peace. Selena Gomez. Amy Winehouse. Whitney Houston. 50 Cent. T.I. ASAP Rocky. Solange. Donald Glover, Zoe Saldana, I hope I'm saying her name right, and Jeff Hardy. <clears throat> so boom, Venus and Leo. First of all, Venus is the planet of love and beauty and harmony and also represents luxury. So your Venus sound will tell you like how you act when you're in love, what you're attracted to, also how you act or when it comes to money, like how you generate money and how you spend money. And now for women, the Venus sign tells you how you act like when you're in love. For men, the Venus size tells you what you're attracted to when you're looking for love. The Mars sign for men is how you act like when you're in love, and the Mars sign for women is what you're attracted to when it comes to love. I'm gonna have a whole nother series on the Mars. I'm gonna have a whole nother series when it comes to Mars, but just know that Venus for women is how you act like when you're in love. Venus for men is what you're attracted to when you're in love. Mars for women is what you're attracted to when you're in love, and Mars for men is how you act like when you're in love. So Venus and Leo, the first thing I think about when it comes to Venus and Leo people is you already know Leo's, um, Leo is the, Leo is like the sign of like, it's represented by like entertainment and having fun and like the flashiness and like loves, is ruled by the sun so it just shines everywhere. So when it comes to Venus inside of Leo, the way that you love your love language is you love to like really show off your partner. You love to like really show off your partner. You love to like be extravagant with your partner, you like to be extravagant in love, you have no problem like the PDA, you just love to like show off with your partner. You like you love the attention y'all get when you're in love. You love the um you just love the flashiness and the showiness of love. Y'all can be like dramatic when it comes to love, like when it comes to like PDA and I get to and I get into that. But basically what y'all need in a relationship, like if you're dating one or if you're um attracted to one, you want to know what you need to do. What a Venus and Leo person needs, I'm not gonna say they need attention because y'all hear that all the time, but they do need appreciation like constantly. They need to know, they need to be reassured that you appreciate them. They need constant reassurance and constant appreciation for who they are. Because we all know Leos are the most, like one of the confidence, are the most confident, one of the most confident signs in the zodiac. They feel like they are king, they're the queen, like they are the, like the king of the jungle, like the lion. So they have this type of self-assurance inside of them already. So if they're gonna date somebody, they're gonna need that person to understand like how how important that Leo person is, that Venus and Leo person is. And they're gonna need that person to always reassure them, to always appreciate them, to always like just show them a lot of affection, a lot of attention like constantly. But in return, Venus and Leo, y'all have no problem, and this is what y'all do, like, freely. Y'all really love to, like, shower your loved ones with affection. You love to shower your loved ones with, like, attention and appreciation. Like, y'all give gifts like crazy. Y'all very generous. Remember, Leo's ruled by the heart. So y'all wear your heart on your sleeve when you're in love. Like, when you're in love, yo, y'all go, like, all in, and, and it's, like, a big show. It's, like, y'all be talking about your loved ones all the time to everybody. be bragging about them. Like, you just love to show them all the attention, all the love, like... So that Venus and Leo person will give you all that attention, will give you all that love. They will treat you how they want to be treated. So understand, like take notes, like when you're dating them and they're giving you all these gifts and they're like just showering you with compliments and like 
they like to gas people up. They like to hype people up because they don't want to be with somebody that's like not sure of themselves, that's not confident. So when you're around them, they will always like compliment you. They always like make you feel like you're a son because they already know they're the son. So they're gonna give you that like that shine and all that all the time. They're gonna give you like that light, that shine that they have within themselves. So you're gonna always feel like confident when you're around them. You're gonna always feel reassured. You're gonna always feel appreciated when you're around them. So understand that they're doing that. So you have to give them the same in return and that'll be like a harmonious relationship. So they need constant reassurance. They need constant appreciation for being with them. Understand that Leos, they have to feel that, like remember Leo is like a lot of Leo energy. They always feel like they're famous. Like they always feel like they're in the, in the center of the spotlight. So they always have like eyes looking at them. Venus and Leo people always dress nice as fuck. Like they always have like flashy, not always, but they're usually, depending on other signs in your uh, chart, obviously, but they're usually like flashy. They usually like have no problem getting attention and being like the center of attention. And I forgot to say this, my, I forgot to say this, my bad, but when it comes to Venus, the sun sign, you're going to either have a Leo sun sign or a Cancer sun sign or a Gemini sun sign or a... Virgo sun sign or Libra sun sign. It's going to be either one of those five sun signs because the Taurus, I say because Taurus, because Venus does not move too far away from the sign. So either Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. All right. So boom. So you definitely need to always reassure them and give them that constant, I'm not going to say validation because they, they're, they're already confident within themselves. So they, they don't need like validation, but they do need to know that since we're dating, you appreciate me. They like to show you off and brag about you. So if you do that too, that would be perfect. Like if you like flash them on social media, like this is my girl, this is my man. Like if you do all that, they love all that. And they will be like loyal to you because they're a fixed sign. My fixed signs are the Tauruses, Leos, Aquarius, and Scorpios. They're very loyal. So once they choose you as a partner, once they like set in their mind that you are the one they want, they will be fixated on you and they'll be stuck in that relationship. Now understand what I said when I say stuck in that relationship. So Leo Venuses, y'all do have a tendency to to like be in relationships that are not serving you. So you're gonna you have a tendency to always be giving yourself to people, always give your love to people, giving gifts to somebody, and then they won't give it to you in return. But then like y'all don't have like y'all not really quick to leave like that because like you're fixated, you're fixed. So understand that before you get in a relationship, you really want to make sure that person can handle your energy first of all. That person can appreciate you. That person can always reassure you that you are like, they want to be the center of your life. Like they want you to be the center of your life. So if you're like, if you have a lot of friends, you have like a big circle, even a small circle, dating a Venus and Leo person, they want to know, they need to feel, need to see, they need to hear that out of all the people in your life, they are like the most prominent. They're like they're on the top. They're the most important. They're the center of your life. In return, that same Leo Venus person will put you on that pedestal. Like Leo Venus's people or Leo energy in general like to put people they love on a pedestal. So they have very high expectations. Like understand this, like they have very high expectations for you because they're putting you on a pedestal. It's like their life is a movie. They're, they're, they're like the star of the movie and they're bringing you into their movie as like a co-star or like as a right hand, right hand man, right hand woman. So they know how important that they are in their head. They're putting you in their life, so they're going to put you on that high pedestal. It could be very dramatic, I understand. Leo is all about dramatics and being like flashy and showy and just being like a little over the top sometimes. But understand that when you're dating these people, Leo Venuses are all about having fun. They're all about just living life and like all about recreation, having fun, just being like lively. Remember, the fifth house is a house of recreation, of pleasures. So they really have like a lot of like... They have a lot of fun and like pleasures in life. They seek that. So they need that freedom too. They're a fire sign Venus. Fire sign and air sign Venuses are, are good together because they both seek freedom, fun, lightheartedness. You can't be sensitive with these kind of people, <coughs> air sign Venus. You can't like try to tie them down too much or you can't be too boring and too dry and too like mundane, <coughs> earth sign Venus. They just need somebody that's like, Willing to have fun with them all the time. That doesn't get jealous too, because Leo Venuses do get a lot of attention. So if you're dating them, you have to feel confident within yourself that because they're fixed, they're not gonna like cheat on you, 
but they will be getting like a lot of attention from a lot of people because their energy is just the sun. They love getting attention. They love getting that reassurance from people. So you want to be like their number one fan, I'm going to say, but like their number one person that gives them that reassurance. So they're going to always keep you on that high pedestal. But understand, it's a lot to ask for. I know if you're not about that life, it's a lot to ask for, but you're going to be on that pedestal. So understand that they have high expectations that you have to meet for them, for them to be fulfilled in relationships. And the high expectation, the first thing is like you already know, it's just constantly reassure them of how much you appreciate them, give them compliments, tell them how fly they look, tell them how sexy they look, like just give them compliments, like gas up their head the same way they, the same way that they gas up your head, give them gifts, like have fun with them, like it's like a it's like a very playful type energy. Like they love children too, like Leo Leo Venuses are really good with children, really good with kids because kids have that energy of they don't really care about anything, just like to have fun and be free. So Venus and Leo people are really like childlike in that way, like very playful in that way. They like to like joke around a lot. They really like, just like to have fun, like a lot. So if you're not the type to really be that, they, be that kind of way, if you're like really like strict and mundane in your ways, you don't like to like really get out your shell, you're really like kind of like, like quiet and shy, you don't really like to express your love like publicly too, if you're like really like not that type, then the Venus and Leo to you, will be annoying as hell, will be attention seeking as hell, will be like just dramatic, be over the top a lot. If you're not, if you don't match that frequency. Now I was talking my PDA, like one thing, and I was watching this, like I was on Instagram, yo, and this is like a Venus and Leo thing to the T. Like imagine like, you know how people get graduated, like graduate from colleges and they go to the graduation. And now this is what a Venus and Leo person will do. Like they will, like if they're, if their lady is getting, is graduating and they're getting the, the getting, <laughs> and they're getting their diploma, the Venus and Leo person will take that opportunity to go on the stage and like will propose to her like right there in front of the whole everybody in front of everybody like they like that like that showy display of affection that's like prominent that everybody could see it everybody would be like oh that's crazy like and like when when he when he proposes and she says yes all that cheering in the background all that energy like they like that they like to put you on that high pedestal so everybody can see who they love. They like that, like, like that Hollywood couple kind of thing. They like all the flashy lights when it comes to like who they love. When it comes to love, they like that shit. Like, understand that. So if you're the type that's not really like good with PDA or you don't like people knowing your business like that, a Venus and Leo person will pull that out of you. They will get you like out the house. They'll get you to like have fun. They'll get you outside your outside your shell. Like they'll get you to like. Like fire, fire just likes to, just likes to like the adrenaline rush. They like to have fun. They like to move fast. So they'll, they'll get you up and they'll get you active, kind of thing. They, so they need that in a partner. They need like a partner in crime that has no problem getting attention because you are what you attract. So Venus and Leo people will attract Leo type people. They will attract people that are flashy. They will attract people that are like extremely confident within themselves. They will attract that kind of people. Those kind of people. The thing about that is, and there's always a negative of everything, what I've been studying, what I've researched, what I've learned is that like Venus and Leo people will attract people that are like themselves, that are very like, you know, self-centered in a way, kind of like very confident, very flashy, to the point that that person will not really reassure that Leo and Venus person because they are just like worried about themselves or they're like really self-centered within themselves. So if you're a Leo and Venus person and you don't love yourself, you will attract people that are like you but then you will not get that same reassurance back. So understand that if that happens, you have to know that you have to love yourself first before you get like in a relationship. Because if you don't love yourself, you attract people that love themselves more than you. And then you will be like stuck in the relationship in that fixed in that fixed mindset, that fixed relationship. You'll be stuck in that relationship and you feel like that person is not giving me the attention I need, not giving me the reassurance I need. Or he or she is, is getting more attention than me. He or she is like in the limelight more than me. So it'll be like a competition between who is like, who is on the higher pedestal kind of thing. It'll be like power struggles kind of thing. So understand that you attract people like yourself. So you attract people that are like, you want somebody that's like, you know, fly, that's flashy, that's like everybody loves them, that gets a lot of attention. You want that. So when you get that and you don't love yourself, understand that you have a tendency to like, be in a relationship with somebody that does not give you what you need, what you want, because they themselves are on the high pedestal and they're not really looking to like, 
they're not really looking to give you that same energy back kind of thing. So understand that you have to be careful about that. Always love yourself first before you get in a relationship. That's like the main thing I can give y'all. And now dating a Venus and Leo person, and I said this before, you have to be confident within yourself because like I said, they get a lot of attention. So they will have like a line of people in the background that wants to date them. They have a lot of suitors. They have a lot of people around them that like admire them, that want to be with them. But if they choose you, understand that they're choosing you for a, for a specific reason and they will be loyal to you if you meet those requirements of, you know, constant reassurance, showing them that affection, that love, like a lot, like, like you have to keep them, you have to make sure they know that you were like thinking about them a lot. They have to, they have to make sure that you, the co-star is like working with them in that movie of life that they're in. You have to like reassure them that, that you're theirs, that they're, that you're theirs and you're there like for life, like you're there and you're going to like show them off. Just understand that anything Leo is just loves to perform so like show them off like do you have to be that kind of person they're not comfortable people that don't show them off or they're not comfortable people that are not giving them that 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 attention and that constant reassurance you're just not comfortable with that they're not going to be fulfilled with that they're going to be like really bored they're going to be like this is not fulfilling me they need to like they need that that feeling of eyes on them eyes on their their person eyes on those two together they like that they're the sun the sun shines the sun needs to just like express its energy express its light to everybody if the sun has to shine to everybody and everybody's gonna like shine from the sun so they need that flashiness they need that like extravagance extravagant like energy they need that dramatic displays of affection a lot they need all that so pda they like that shit don't be shy to show them off in public don't be shy to <clears throat> to just like show the world who you're with. They like that. They, they need that actually. They need that constant reassurance. And in return, they will give you that times 10. Like they automatically wear their heart on their sleeve. So they will give you all that times 10. They'll give you all these gifts. They will they will gas you up. They will do all these things for you. They'll, they'll really be there for you. They're, they're fixed. They're loyal. They'll be there for you. They're like, they'll give you all these things, but you have to give it, give it to them back. They, they need that reassurance right back for them now these people are really like warm-hearted like they really have a really big heart so they're not really sensitive like that but if they're feeling that you're not really like you know in it like they are they're gonna be even though they're fixed once they do like cut the cord it's like cold and they're like it's over like the, the movie is done like it's over and they're gonna really like put you to a whole other side because they really had you on the high expectation they had you on that pedestal they put their whole heart in it they loved you like crazy and they put that, they put all that affection in it. But if you haven't met that expectation, if you didn't meet that expectation, they'll be disappointed, but then they will cut it off and they'll be like, it's in the past. Like they're really good at like cutting people off that are not giving them what they need. When I say what they need, which is that attention, that affection, that appreciation. They're really good at cutting people off that don't really reassure them like that. So if you don't want to lose them, all you got to do is just keep reassuring them keep being appreciative of what they do because they do bring a lot to the table they do y'all two will look good as hell in public together like they do make that person look good that person will make them look good like y'all two together y'all two will look good as hell in public like Venus and Leo people really have that natural that natural shine to them wherever they go so they will like they will better your life in a way like if you can meet their expectations you will have like a like a hollywood couple like a hollywood type of relationship full of fun full of like extravagant dates all that like all the dramatics all that like they can also start fights a little bit like be dramatic a little bit like fire signs like aries venuses like fire signs like to have like little like dramatic fights just to keep the, the spark the spark alive they will be a little, a little dramatic with you a little bit like to act he likes to act a lot, but understand that all that's just to keep the fun alive and keep everything like flowing. So all in all, like understand how important it is that they need that reassurance. They need that constant attention. They need that. Like it's in their blood. They need to feel like they are the sun. They need to feel like they are appreciated because they bring their heart to everything they do. They are ruled by the heart. They bring everything. Everything they do is from the heart. That's why they're so generous sometimes. A little to the, it could be to the fault too sometimes with their generosity, but they're so generous a lot because they just like give themselves to people they love. They they're ruled by the heart, so you have to give them the same energy that they give you, and that would be like a perfect 
harmonious relationship. So that's my video on Venus and Leo. Hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be on Venus in Virgo. So you already know I'm about to go in. If you have subscribed to my channel, you already know I fuck with you heavy. Appreciate you for real, for real. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. Drink your water. Mind your business and be safe out here. It's your boy, Lil Finesse, Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all.